welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing a skincare routine featuring a bunch of new goodies that I got from Sephora. Most of them are from The Ordinary. So if you're interested, then keep watching. So first off, let's get this hair out the way. It's actually, for the most part, out of the way. I just want to put this on because I think it's so cute. And I don't want to get anything on my edges. I look kind of crazy. Do we like the stars or not? Okay, I don't know if I like the stars. But, um, yeah, I went to Sephora today and I just got a bunch of things that I really think I did need because my skincare routine was actually lacking, okay? I just put anything on my face. But, you know, I want to preserve my skin and I don't want to age too fast. I want to be 60 looking 30, you know what I mean? That's what we're going to do today. We're going to try to get there. And I went to Sephora and got a bunch of things. So let me just go ahead and show you guys exactly what I got. So I got these three products from The Ordinary and I'm just going to go over each of them. So the first one is called... The first one is Niacinamide 10% and this is what it looks like. And basically this is very good for minimizing pores and just kind of tightening your skin overall. So I recently got this just because I feel like I have some pores close to where my nose is and we don't want that. So we're going to try this out and I'll let you guys know how it works. The next product I got was the Ordinary Buffet Serum and this is what it looks like. So here it says multi-technology peptide serum. I'm not really sure what that means, but the lady at Sephora said it was really good and it had a bunch of different things within it that make it very versatile and well-rounded when it comes to skincare. Um, she suggested this for hydration just because I feel like my skin can get a little bit dry. So we're gonna try this out and I'll let you guys know how this goes. And finally, I got this moisturizer from The Ordinary. This is what the moisturizer looks like and the lady suggested this she just said after you kind of do your skincare Be sure to put this on your skin just to kind of seal everything in and make sure that your face is not too dry So yes, we love that and I'm gonna try this out and I'll let you guys know how that goes And then from the inky list I got this retinol cream and this is what it looks like So this retinol cream is a nighttime cream and it just ensures that you don't get wrinkles on your face It is very strong So it's suggested that you should use it every other day and not every day just so that you don't overdo it to your face because it can cause face sensitivity. And when you have this on, you have to make sure to wear sunscreen after it, just because when this is on your face, you can get a really bad reaction from the sun. So make sure to use retinol with sunscreen. For my face wash, this is what I use. I use the Deep Clean Facial Cleanser by Neutrogena, and this really works well on my skin. It removes all the oils from my face and takes off all my makeup, so I really like this, but the only thing about it is that it's very drying. So that's why I got a lot of hydration products from The Ordinary, just to ensure that, you know, my skin is not too dry and doesn't get flaky so right now this is my skin it has nothing on it no product no face cream nothing like that and the first thing I'm gonna do is apply the retinol cream to my skin so on the back of this it says to hydrate before using it just because it's strong so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna use the ordinary facial moisturizer first just a little bit and kind of dab it in my face just because my face is very dry because of the face wash um this is what it looks like and this was I think seven dollars very affordable When you hydrate, try to kind of lift up your skin because all day gravity is kind of pulling your skin down. So like once in a while, it's good to kind of lift up all your skin. So I applied a very light layer of this. I did not apply too much just because I want the retinol to also soak in my skin. This is very lightweight. It doesn't feel like anything's on my face, honestly. So now that that's on, we're going to go ahead and apply the retinol all over my face. especially gonna put this on my forehead just because foreheads are usually where people get wrinkles I'm gonna put this on my forehead just because foreheads are where people get wrinkles a lot of the time so the lady at Sephora told me to leave this in my face for 10 minutes just so my skin soaks it in so I'll be back in 10 minutes I also got a sample of the more Pacific eye cream from Sephora so I'm gonna go ahead and try that out right now I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit under my eyes I feel like if you wear makeup a lot or if you like doing makeup, the first step of your makeup routine should be your skincare routine because like makeup can be really damaging for your skin and clog your pores a lot. 
dry out your skin makeup is not the best thing for your skin so kind of consistently like taking care of your skin every night after you take off your makeup is very important just so that you preserve your skin and it's healthy and it's glowing and so that you're 60 looking like you're 30 you know so yes skincare first makeup second always remember that this is a very nice texture it's very kind of like it's a little bit thick, but like for someone going to sleep, I feel like it's not that bad. I feel like it's good for what it is. So it's been 10 minutes now, and I'm going to go ahead and put on the niacinamide face serum and kind of put it where my pores are usually larger. So just kind of around my T-zone and my chin area. This is what the product looks like. And I'm just going to kind of go in circular motions around here, here, and here. This product is a lot thinner of a consistency. It's not that thick. It's almost like as if it's water-based. So that should be interesting. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it all over my face just because I don't really need it all over my face. Just mainly like in my T-zone area and around my nose. So I'm just gonna put it there. So now we're gonna go ahead and apply the Buffet Serum. So this is what the serum looks like outside of the packaging. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face. Make sure your hands are clean before doing this because I don't know why I should explain that. I don't think I have to explain that, <laughs> but yeah. Make sure your hands are clean. I saw a lot of TikToks about the Buffett Serum, um, and a lot of people said it was really good. If you have a roller, you should probably like roll this onto your face. Now to seal everything in, I'm just going to use the Ordinary Face Moisturizer. My face is a little bit red right now, but that's just because I kind of have sensitive skin. Like, I could literally put water on my face and it turned red, but it only lasts for about a few minutes. So, yes, my face is moisturized. It's feeling good. It's feeling very elastic. Um, it doesn't feel dry. Thank you guys for watching my skincare routine using the Ordinary and the Inky List. If you like videos like this, leave a comment down below and let me know what else you guys want to see. I know this video is a little bit different than what you guys are used to seeing on my page, but I hope to post more personal things that I enjoy doing, like skincare. And yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on these products and if I continue using them or not. Honestly, I'm already liking this this sheer glow you know my face isn't too oily it's not dry it's giving plump so yes that's a good sign for now but i'll keep you guys updated hopefully i'll post a part two skincare routine and let you guys know if i return anything if i like them if they're affecting my skin in any way and you know just keeping it 100 percent honest with you guys but yeah thank you guys for making it to the end if you did mwah, love you guys and have a great rest of your day